This is a story that actually sickens my heart and is very sad. Monachuco Daniels, a 23-year-old Fort Lauderdale native, was allegedly arrested after leaving her three-year-old daughter in a car unattended to work at a local strip club. Here to give you more on this story is Onyx News correspondent Stephanie Priester. Stephanie? And you're absolutely right. This is a story that also, as a mother, sickens my heart to think Miss Daniels would leave her child unattended, really intentionally unattended in a car that was actually prompted in a position that she intended to leave that child there for a length of time. Really three hours has been reported the child was left unattended for the time that the mother did go into the strip club to work. Um, for obvious reasons, I would assume being a single parent, um, but there's just still no excuse as to why uh, this mother would intentionally leave this child unattended in the car in the middle of the night you know a lot of the what ifs that could have happened to put this child's life in danger from being able to she was able to get out of the car on her own um, the window was left cracked for her um, just as a report of knowing that there were toys left in the car assuming that the child could wake up or maybe this had been done before. I know investigations are being done right now to determine if the mother, Miss Daniels, has actually done this before in the past. It is a sad, sad situation. Yeah, I couldn't imagine being a parent in this situation. Uh, we know it's twofold. On one side, you have the story of a mother that's willing to sacrifice not only herself, but the well-being of her child to go and do what she has to do. On the other side, you have that of a, a person that should be a nurturer, a mother that should actually want the best for her child and willing to keep them safe by any cost. So it's twofold. And I cannot even imagine what was on the heart and mind of the person that fact found the child. Uh, do we know who actually was the finder of this baby? Well, it was reported that a bystander actually called the police to make them aware that they had found this young child, three years old, wondering, crying, terrified in the parking lot of the Vegas Cabaret, which is a strip club of where the mother was obviously working. I mean, the mother did actually lie to say initially when she came out to find the police there that she was actually just dropping someone off. But again, video surveillance shows that it was about 11 o'clock and it was after 2 a.m. that this child um, was found. And you know, when you think about the what ifs that occurred, the what ifs she could have actually wandered into the street and gotten hit by a car, the what ifs if someone had you know, really kidnapped this child and maybe done bodily harm to the child, even murdered the child. You just never know. But it really saddens my heart as a mother myself to think even for one minute, any mother could leave their child unattended in a car for an extended period of time. Yeah, reading this story made me pretty emotional, Stephanie, because again, we are mothers and we want the best for our children. This certainly was not the best situation for this young mother to leave her child in. And as you stated, I'm sure I can almost account because of the setup that this was not the first time that it was done. Do we know the status of mother and child as of date? Well, the mother was still being held uh, with a $5,000 bond. Uh, the child had been taken into protective custody where she had an aunt that was now caring for her. And it just makes me wonder, the aunt that is now caring for her, why couldn't that same aunt have cared for her while the young mother, Miss Daniels, went to work at the strip club? But again, it's just another situation of child neglect that hopefully she will get the maximum penalty of what she deserved for leaving her child unattended. I agree completely. Things that make you go, hmm. Well, for more on this story and as it unfolds, we'll bring it back to you again. Thank you again for great reporting as always, Stephanie, and we'll see you soon on Onyx News. We'll be right back.